Hello everybody, welcome to your astral guidance for this week. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for all the messages and for uh, the new people coming in. New subscription. So I'm using today the Louis Vintage uh, Le Normand to see what the week has in store for us. So I'm starting with uh, a card cut that would give us the general theme for every one of us. So we have the man and we have the mountain. So this combination of cards can tell us that we may be dealing with uh, a man who is a little bit, you know, stubborn. Um, it could be someone that is on your path this week as an enemy or as someone that is not on your side, okay? It could be dealing with a difficult man, difficult person, and this man could be a partner, someone uh, in your life, or it could be, you know, uh, someone that you will be meeting. It could be a boss, it could be a co-worker. So in any case, these people, you won't be able to change their mind, okay? They will be uh, stuck on the idea, and they won't, you know, uh, change anything of their uh, perspective. So let's start with areas. Areas, you have the cross. The cross uh, shows that it's a week of heaviness. Maybe you're feeling a little bit, you know, a um, little bit down these days. Maybe you feel that you're not being held, that your, uh, your prayers are not being answered that you are um, again in a victim mode okay uh, the advice of the cross is to believe okay to believe that there is you know a uni universal forces that can really help you uh, in your daily life okay and help you get out of the situation you are in and uh, for Brazilian people, for instance, the cross is a very good card because it tells you that you need to pray and to invoke the divine forces and the orishas to help you in whatever you need help with. So pray, meditate, and uh, whatever you know, belief or belief system or religion you are in, you know, pray and ask the divine forces to help you with your situation. Taurus. Taurus, you have the sun, it's the best card of the deck. The sun is uh, telling you that things are looking good for you this week. It will be a prosperous week if you have to deal with money, with um, and with communication. Also, you have clarity of mind. You will have great ideas. Cherish the ideas that are coming to you this week because they are going to serve you uh, in the future. In, in the future, obviously. So clarity, being seen, being understood is what you're going to experience this week, Taurus. Gemini. Gemini, you have the scythe. The scythe card is a card that tells us first that there is danger. Danger, why? Because the scythe cuts, you know, rapidly and quickly. And when it's cut, you know, you won't be able to glue the pieces again together. So be really you know mindful this week about the decision the people that you are going to meet uh, my, uh, look, manage your tongue you know sharp tongue should be uh, should be um, you think about your words okay don't tell whatever comes out of your mind you need to be mindful and you know to use the uh, the the scythe as a tool okay be clear be direct, don't, you know, don't go around the pot. Uh, for Cancer, Cancer, you have the clouds. I'm trying not to get the, the light in the car. It's quite difficult, but there we are. Okay, so the clouds, the clouds is about being confused. So the card are advising you this week, don't do nothing new. Don't go into decision taking because you are in the fog. Okay, um, things that you believe is true or not true, things that you think are not true is true. So, you know, you don't have clarity, not as the Taurus. Uh, you need to rethink things and, you know, maybe you have to deal with an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend as well during this week. 
okay so leos leos you have the stars the stars is good because it gives you uh the right direction your prayers are answered your prayers are are heard and the star really gives you you know success and give you the uh, the ability to project yourself in the future and see how things will go okay you can count also on your spirit guides guardian angel and all these people to help you with your week Virgo Virgo there is stress for you this week we have the mice the mice is everything that really you know worries us it could be a situation that is uh, waning out. It could be, you know, little things that really annoys you. So what you need to do with the, uh, the mice is really to, uh, to focus on what is important. Okay, don't uh, get yourself caught into things that is not important in little details, annoying things go for the big piece okay go for the big picture so libra libra you have the powerful bear so let's, let me move this up you have the powerful bear bear is about mothering protection and it's also a card that warns you again people that may be envious uh, uh, of your success of your uh, of your life okay so uh, it's a week also that is good for money you will deal with money you will have courage to take whatever action and decision you need to take and you will be very close to a mother figure this week Scorpio Scorpio you have the coffin something is dying something is ending it could be relationship it could be a situation it could be someone as well people so the coffin is telling you that um, a chapter is ending, okay? Take this time to prepare yourself for the next chapter, the next book, the next page, the next story, okay? Um, you can't save anything from the coffin, you know? You just need to have courage and to say goodbye, to say adios, and, you know, move to the next chapter of your life. So this week is a week of transition and transformation as well for you Scorpio Sagittarius you have the letter you're going to receive mail power cells and whatever uh, Oracle card deck you've been ordering on the net so the letter is news coming up news in a written form it could be newspaper it could be something you read on a blog which is uh, on the blog sorry which is significant it could be reading uh, a book that really inspires you it could be also dealing with administrative you know procedures and papers writing letters and uh, all this kind of stuff so get yourself organized Sagittarius this way because there is a lot going on in your plate um, now we move to Capricorn Capricorn you have the dog dog is a good card because it speaks about being protected being uh, having good friends and having allies so maybe there are people around you that will help you this week it could be also the presence of your guardian angel spirit guide or a deceased loved one which is you know close to you and really giving you this punch of of energy and you know you can feel it the dog can smell can feel so this is the ability that you're going to have this week as well you're going to feel things to feel energy to feel a uh, presence of your loved ones around you and this will really help you out okay i believe that there is uh, an important date coming up it would be a memorial it could be you know the souvenir or, uh, or birthday you know important date and this is why the dog is here to tell you that your loved ones are always around. Aquarius, we have the ship, so you're up for great adventures, good for commerce, good for people that are entrepreneur. It could be also launching a new project, you know, just sailing this uh, to the world. And uh, yeah, the ship is very good. It's um, moving forward. If you, f well, if you are in a situation where you feel stuck and not being able to move forward, this card is a good one, okay? So things are happening for you, Aquarius. So Pisces, we finish with you. You have the heart, 
there will be a lot of love feelings and you know and happy moment coming up for you this week Pisces the heart is a great card because it tells you that you will be able to um, you know to meet people that cherish you people that will show love and affection and have good feelings and this will really put you in a good mood okay so here it is my friends I, I, I advise you to listen and to look at the card that came up for your sun sign your moon sign and your ascendant or rising sign and put these three together for instance I am Pisces okay I have my moon in Taurus and I have my rising sign in the go and I'm, go I'm going to read these three cards so telling me that good things are coming up for me this week with the Sun because I use the technique of the focus card then I read the two the, the pair so good things are happening for me this week I will have a joyous heart but I really need to look at the big piece and not look at details that annoys me okay it could be also a, a part of burnout giving too much love giving too much affection giving too much care to others and this may you know bring me um, some issues but I know what the cards are showing me so same thing for you take your sun sign your moon sign and then your uh, I don't remember how it was on this so Sun sign moon sign rising sign or ascendant if you want to look at love have something specific about love you need to know um, uh, what is your sign where when you were born where was a Venus okay and you can check that for uh, love situation so I really hope these readings uh, help you and please you I'm going to upload these every Sunday now okay as uh, I've started and don't forget to subscribe to share the videos with your friend and if you have any question anything that you want to know about Le Normand you can comment down below these readings are not only for prediction it's not only pick a card reading it's also uh, about you know understanding how we can apply the cards to many situation so have a great day my my friends a great week and look forward to talk to you on the next video.